Mr. Speaker, sir, and honorable members, may I remind the witnesses that is still under oath through the chair. Thank you. I am aware I'm still under oath. Thank you. Can I Mr. Munene, may we proceed from where we had stopped, but we'll be moving to the second issue. The motion for impeachment before the Senate, the second issue accused of the governor is failing to appoint chairpersons of the Meru County Revenue Board, Meru Microfinance Corporation, Meru Youth Service Board, and Meru County Investment and Development Corporation Board. <clears throat> What's your response to that, Mr. Manene? Thank you, Mr. Speaker and honorable members. The, the governor has been accusing of failing to appoint the chairpersons of the Meru County Revenue Board, Meru Microfinance Corporation, Meru Youth Service Board, and Meru County Investment and Development Corporations as required by the law. Um, and uh, I wish to state that uh, by virtue of the information that is, has come within me, uh, that, that's an allegation that is not true. Um, the County Secretary by a letter dated 18th June 2023 forwarded to the County Assembly the name of Japheth Dumba Indinji as a nominee chairperson of the Meru County Revenue Board. The process of uh, appointment of these chairpersons um, starts by the, 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 the governor forwarding the list of nominees to the assembly for approval. And um, it is only once they approve, the assembly has approved. Uh, Mr. Speaker, so I'm sorry for intervention, but I would seek your guidance that the witness directs us to the place where that evidence is for the, so that we are able to follow. Most obliged. Thank you. I, I, I was getting there. No, get there first. Thank you. Because as you explained, we need to be on that page. So start with uh, uh, the page containing that document so that when all the senators are there and uh, other parties are there, you can now proceed to explain Thank yourself. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is on page 53 of the Governor's Board of Documents, Volume 1B. Page 53. There's a letter there dated 18 June 2023, received by the Office of the Clerk and the County Assembly on 21st June 2023. And um, the, the Governor and the Executive Member in charge of Finance, uh, pursuant to Section 6 of the Meru County Revenue Board Act, is forwarding the list of um, nominees for the chairperson and two members of the County Revenue Board. Um, Mr. Speaker um, and honorable members, page 57 of the same bundle of documents, uh, it's a letter dated 21st June 2023, received in the office of the, speak, uh, of the clerk of the County Assembly of Mayor on the same date. It is forwarding the list of um, the chairperson and two members for approval by the county assembly, finding the list specifically the name of Ariet Karamana Gitonga Kadata as the chairperson of the Meru County Investment and Development Corporation. Uh, Mr. Speaker, honorable members, page 58 of the same bundle of documents is a letter dated 21st June 2023, forwarding the list of um, chairperson and members nominee members for approval by the County Assembly pursuant to um, Section 6 of the Meru County Youth Service Act. Um, that letter has been received on 21st June 2023, and of importance is that uh, the name of Kimadi Mutembei Dennis is the chairperson that is being, uh, the governor is seeking approval so that she can appoint. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, after this uh, uh, letter, the county assembly, the county assembly uh, drew a letter dated 21st July 2023. Um, the clerk of the county assembly wrote to the county secretary. 
that is in page 60, volume 1B, a letter that is in page 60, volume 1B, whereby the clerk of the county assembly is saying that my office is unable to recommend the same, the list, for their consideration to be transmitted to the county assembly for action, largely because they observe that there are some missing information regarding the status of offices as some of the office, offices sought to be filled and substantive office holders. And uh, by a similar letter did, uh, that appears on page 61 of volume 1B, and the, county, the, the clerk of the county assembly is seeking, um, it's a reminder letter, uh, f followed by, by the letter that was received on 21st July 2023. And uh, Mr. Speaker, honorable members, in response to that letter, the county secretary and end of public service wrote a letter dated 18th September 2023 it appears on page 54 of um, volume 1B of the same bundle of documents. And in this letter, saying that the, it indicates that reference is made to the above subject matter and your letter dated 31st August 2023. The nominee, nominees of the County Revenue Board are made in anticipation of their lapse of term on 14th December 2023. All the other offices fell vacant by way of natural attrition. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, um, on page 55 is a, another letter from the county secretary directed to the clerk of the county assembly, uh, which is a polite reminder. It has been received the same date, it's dated 11th January 2024, on 21st March, page 56, volume 1B. Uh, on 21st March 2024, the county secretary still wrote another reminder to the clerk of the county assembly of Meru. And subsequently, uh, Mr. Speaker and honorable members, by a letter dated 15th July 2024, it's in the County Assembly's bundle of documents. Volume one. This volume up. As, as you check on that, Mr. Munene, is that a demonstration of compliance from, your, from High Excellency the Governor? It is a demonstration of compliance. And um, of importance is that uh, the letter, uh, the date on 31st August, uh, that is on page 61, which appears on volume 1B of the Governor's bundle of documents, the clerk of the county assembly is indicating that um, they have learned, uh, um, indicating that uh, the county assembly, county government, uh, I mean, this is to kindly make a follow up on the requested information to facilitate the commit of the 400 names to the various semi-autonomous bonds of the county government of Meru to the relevant committee of the county assembly for vetting and consideration, excluding the nominees of the Meru County Alcoholic Drinks Control Bond, whose nomination has been since committed to the relevant committee of the county assembly for vetting and consideration. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, uh, despite the clerk of the county assembly confirming that the list for the Meru County Alcoholic Drinks Control Bond and been laid to the relevant committee by 31st August 2023. To date, that vetting is yet to be concluded. Uh, Mr. Speaker, honorable members, um, volume two of the County Assembly documents, page 60, 
is the letter I was referring to dated 15th July 2024. And in this letter dated 15th July 2024, the county secretary is indicating that um, to, um, is making a follow-up of those, the, the, the position of the nominees, whether they have been uh, approved or not, and indicates that the, uh, to date the county assembly has deliberately failed to approve and or communicate its rejection of the nominees to the county executive despite constant reminders. Despite constant reminders. This is a letter dated 15th July 2024. And my emphasis, uh, Mr. Speaker, honorable members, on that statement, despite constant reminders, is because I'm aware that um, yesterday the clerk of the county assembly appeared before this honorable house and indicated that the letters, the three letters that I have mentioned, that is the letter dated, the letter appearing on um, the letter appearing on page 54, 55, and 56 of the governor's board of documents that they are disputing. Those letters are disputing. The, county, the clerk of the county assembly indicated they have never received any letter for a reminder. <clears throat> Thank you. I think that point has been exhausted. Let's proceed to the next issue. The next accusation is that the governor has refused to implement resolutions of the assembly to dismiss the county secretary, Dr. Kiambi Tambura, and the chief of staff, Mr. Gatobu Nchamba. What's your answer to that, Mr. Munene? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, honorable members. The, the governor has been accused of refusing to implement the resolution of the county assembly requiring the dismissal of the county secretary and the chief of staff. Uh, Mr. Speaker, honorable members, um, I'm aware of the information that, um, by virtue of the position that I hold, that once a report of, of the committee of the county assembly has been discussed, um, that report has to be tabled. Once a report has been prepared of a petition, the report has to be tabled in the county assembly, and resolutions pursuant to that report meant thereafter the resolutions and the answer for that sitting adopting the report is supposed to be forwarded to the executive or to the governor to implement the resolution. I can confirm that the document that the, the county assembly seeks to, to rely on do not include a resolution. They do not include any answer showing whether the report that I am for the joint committee was um, adopted by the assembly or not. So to that end, um, there is no resolution to accuse the governor of not um, implementing. Thank you, Mr. Mnene. Quickly, uh, as a practitioner of law, does the county assembly have mandate to dismiss a county secretary and chief of staff as officers in the office of the governor? Uh, Mr. Speaker, honorable members, I'm not aware of a provision in law that mandates the county assembly to dismiss the county secretary or the chief of staff. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, um, and um, in reference to a decision of a Kilifi High Court seen owned by by the Kilifi County government, uh, the former county secretary of Kilifi County, um, the decision of that uh, uh, case indicates that um, the county assembly can only move a censor motion against the county secretary. The provision of the law, section 44 of the county government, um, talks of removal of the governor I mean the removal of the county secretary by the governor. That the governor may remove the county secretary uh, in pursuant, uh, subject to the um, terms and conditions of the contract of service. Thank you, Mr. Mnene. The next question will be, uh, the governor has been accused of illegally dismissing Dr. Antoiti 
CEO of County Revenue Board, Paul Mwaki, CEO of Lika Board, Kenneth Kimathi Mbae, Managing Director, Meru Microfinance Corporation, and Josephine Kiture, CEO of MEWAS, in usurpation of the powers of the appointing authorities. What's your answer to that, Mr. Malene? Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, honorable members. Um, first, to note that um, this is a, an, an, um, a ground or particulars that were presented before the previous uh, impeachment motion, in which I appeared as a witness before this honorable Senate, and I, I can confirm that this was one of the grounds. Um, and uh, the, the allegation that has been made is not true. Um, the governor did not um, dismiss Dr. Ntoiti, Paul Mwaki, Kenneth Mbai, and Joseph Kidore. But the, I mean, Dr. Ntoiti resigned. Paul Mwaki served his term, which um, his contract ended on, um, I believe, 15th December 2023. Kenneth Mbai. Um, Kenneth Bay left, actually abandoned. In, in that matter, you, uh, the, the, the decision that they are seeking to rely on, you realize that Kenneth Bay did not return back to work after um, the, the court quashed the county secretary, the former county secretary's um, letter sending uh, Kenneth Bay on compulsory leave. He did not resume his work, so he abandoned work. And Joseph Kidore. Joseph Kidore uh, served his term to, to conclusion, I mean to, until it was um, terminated by lapse of time. So, uh, and also the allegation that um, the county government of Meru uh, has been slapped with the four million in that decision, it is not true, it is not a correct observation. Um, the county government, Mr. Speaker, honorable members, is not a party to that employment and labor relations dispute. And in the same decision, the, um, in the same order, the general damages that were granted of cumulative general damages of one million. Perhaps very quickly, Mr. Minani, if you could refer the house to the specific documents they wish to rely on. Mr. Speaker, honorable members, um, page 68 of the bundle of documents, uh, volume 1B of the governor's bundle of documents. It's a request for confirmation on employment of Dr. John Toiti, um, made by the county secretary to the Nairobi County Secretary, Nairobi County. And uh, on page 69 is a resignation of Dr. John Toiti, dated 14th November 2023. Page 70 of that bundle of documents is a letter from Nairobi City County confirming that, um, the, confirming the employment status of 